Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. NCB Insurance Agency has launched a new pensions portal. The tool allows signing up for a pension plan online. Senior Vice President at NCB Insurance Agency and Fund Managers Antonio Spence says the new platform will allow for both businesses and individuals to create pension plans without going into a branch. It may have felt very imposing, very intimidating. Um, we've provided a space for them to be able to go online to get that process started. You have a, another set of individuals that, um, that either own businesses in Jamaica or who are employed. And in that business place, there is no structured pension arrangement. He says only four key documents are needed. A tax registration number, TRN, proof of address, identification, and proof of income. All documents may also be verified online, and once approved, clients are able to track their pensions and how much they will take home at retirement. Mr. Spence adds that an NCB account is not required, and people close to retirement may also sign up. Individuals may become members, provided that they are between the ages of 18 and 69 and also provided that they are not contributing to another approved scheme, right? So once they are, you know, um, residents of Jamaica, um, then they are eligible to enter. You may have someone who could actually be contributing to another scheme and they want to switch. Those persons are also eligible to, to become members. He says the new platform became important as more persons have become interested in setting up pensions. As Jamaica emerged <clears throat> from the pandemic and businesses started to recover uh, and, and, and started to not just recover, but start to thrive and so on, um, that the contribution levels have started to rise. Also, um, at the consumer level, um, I am seeing where more and more persons are recognizing the importance of having um, the pension structure in place. Let's head to the foreign currency market now. The U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $154.98. $115.33 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. The average cost for the pound is $194.23, while it's costing an average $172.45 for the euro. To the stock market, the JSE index gained 2,274 points, while the junior market index advanced by almost two points. Among the winners were Cygnus Real Estate Financial Jamaican Dollar Shares, Key Insurance Company, Mayberry Investments, Everything Fresh and Epi 7.75% preference shares. Now the losers were led by Jamaica Public Service 7% shares, Indies Pharma Jamaica, Medical Disposables and Supplies Limited, Epley 7.5% preference shares due 2024, and Mayberry Jamaican Equities. And that's the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.